All right, it is October 18th, and so far our team collectively has helped 94 people get started on their health and fitness journey with either a challenge pack or the total solution pack and or Shakeology or the performance stack on Recover. Every time that you help somebody get started with one of those two things, you earn what's called success club points. You get two points for those. And once you help three people for the month get started with a total solution pack and or Shakeology on Home Direct, you achieve what's called success club. That's a great indication that your business is moving forward. You always want that to be a goal of yours every single month. So big congratulations to Erica, Angela, and Laura for uh, being at success club eight. They've helped four people so far this month. And Nicole, Kristen McNair, I put you on there twice. Um, for also having locked in Success Club 6. And then we have lots of other people on the board. Um, congratulations to new Emerald coach, Trish Brumley. Congratulations on opening up, unlocking your savings, your team volume savings account and your uh, an additional earning potential. And congratulations to Erica Odell, who is in week four of six of being a diamond coach and Angela Waters who is in week two of six of two star diamond qualification which is huge when her team finishes this qualification um, she will get to open up a second business center all right that's all I have for recognition tonight all right Miss Angela Waters I'm not even going to introduce you because I know that you have a lot to say so I'm just going to hand it over to you <laughs> All right, I am going to drop a document in the chat. Hopefully you'll be able to open that. It should ask you to make a copy. Does it work? All right, can you see my slides? Yeah, okay, good. Oh, now you guys are at my bottom, the bottom. There we go. All right, and the link worked? Did the link work? Okay, good, 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 good. All right, fantastic. All right, so I am super pumped to do this with you guys tonight. I have done this with, I believe, oh, I think there's seven or eight coaches now who have done this with me. A couple of them did it uh, a couple months ago or a month ago and already seen such a difference in how they are showing up in um, their coaching business since we did this together. Um, and they might type in the chat uh, if they're on right now, I can't see who's on, but this is called future pacing. And sometimes when we have these big, gigantic dreams of, you know, what coaching could do for us because we see, you know, other coaches that, um, you know, go on these big extravagant trips or they put a pool in their backyard or they buy a bigger house or, you know, they're paying for the kids college in full. And we're like, gosh, wouldn't it be amazing if my little coaching business could do that for my family. Right. So we get these big giant dreams and we, we, if you're on team VIP, you probably don't have a problem dreaming big. Now I used to before I was a part of this, but now the sky's the limit. I got, I got big dreams. So big dreaming is not the hard part, but for some of us, it might be hard once you have that dream to actually think that it's actually possible for you to achieve it. So we keep saying, Oh, it would be so great if one day, but we just, it doesn't feel tangible to us. It just feels so far away that we kind of don't do anything to try and get there because we really can't figure out how. So if you're like I was, where I had these gigantic dreams and I just didn't know how I was gonna get there, then you've got to listen to this training tonight. This was written for you. Okay, so there you are far, far away and there's your goals off in the distance. You can barely see it. I call that the big, gigantic, dreamy goals, right? The ones that are so big, you really don't, really in your heart think that it's actually going to happen for you one day you talk about it and you're like this is what i'm working towards but you really in your heart of hearts do not believe it will ever really happen for you 
I've been there. Goals can almost sometimes when you dream really big, it can almost feel demotivating because you feel like it's so far down the line. It's so out of touch for you. Um, and you just think, gosh, I'm never going to get there. That's why you need to future pace. I have a four step plan for you. It's going to bring you from your dreams to your reality. So you're going to live into your dreams starting now. So you've got this chart. So you've got it electronically right now, obviously. Well, unless you're printing it right now, but you've got it electronically. I have it set up so that you can actually type right into it. If you're a person who likes to do it by, you know, pen and paper, then you can print that out. But you, you, everything is here for you to be able to do on your own after we're done this call tonight. So step one, first you have to have clarity. You have to know exactly what you want. You have to get really, really super clear on what your goals are going to be. And, and you have to get them written on paper because we can change them by the day if they're not written down on paper. You need to be able to see, and I mean physically close your eyes and envision that goal happening for you and how it will actually impact your life when it does actually happen. You need to know exactly what you're shooting for. You always think about a target. Uh, and great example. So you're standing next to the best archer in the world, and I'm going to make it a female. Um, you're standing next to the best archer in the world, right? And you both are lining up to shoot that arrow, and you know, you know she's going to hit it dead on, and you're not going to stand a chance next to her, even though you're both facing in that direction. Because she's perfected her skill, she's been working on it, she's been envisioning it, she knows her direction, she knows exactly what she's doing. Now, we're gonna take that archer and we're going to blindfold her. And we're going to spin her around a whole bunch of times and we're not gonna face her in the direction of her target. We're just gonna stop her wherever we decide to stop her. But you are still facing that target. I can guarantee you're going to have a better chance of hitting that target than she will. Even though she's got the skills, it doesn't come down to the skills or how much experience you've had. It comes down to knowing where you're headed. You need to have direction. And so if that archer is not headed in the right direction, you're gonna beat her every single time. It does not matter how much experience that she has. So that's why goals can't be abstract. They have to be written down on paper. Okay, so you need to see the goals as if they're impacting your life. You've got to be able to feel what it's going to do for you and your life once that goal or goals happen for you. Once you do this, and once you do this first part of the activity, you need to have this in front of you every single day so that you do not lose sight of what you're working on. So the first things first, I want everyone writing things down. You can put it in the chat too if you want. I want you to think one year from now. So October of 2022, where do you want to be? And now I'm gonna give you a couple questions as well. And you've got them right there on that chart as well. What do you want your annual income to be with Beachbody, with your coaching business? Where do you wanna be living? What are you doing in terms of if you have another job? Are you still working that full-time job? Are you only working it part-time right now? What does your coaching business look like? What are your kids doing? What are you doing daily? What do you do for fun? What do you do with your family? Now, we don't have time to actually think this through because it is going to take you some time to think about this. But not only are you going to do it for one year from now, I really want you to hone in on 2026. So five years from now. And then you're going to think about 10 years from now. And I know this is scary. And my coaches are like, whoa, 15 years from now. How old am I in 15 years? I want you to think 15 years down the line because I do believe in my heart that Beachbody can dramatically change your life in one year, five years, 10 years, 15 years, if you can keep that vision and you can keep that direction in your head. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some examples. First, I'm actually gonna go back. I'm gonna give you some examples so you can kind of feel how like making this concrete. And I did this just thinking, uh, brainstorming on my own when I was with my team. So I'm going to go right to five years from now. Where do I want to be? I want to be in a different house, 100%. 
we have outgrown this house. We are busting at the seams. We will be in a different house in five years. I will have four kids in college. I will have two sophomores and two, uh, two seniors in college. Uh, and we will, be, we will own two new vehicles by then because these two, good gosh, every time we leave the house, we pray that it's gonna make it to wherever we're going. 10 years from now, where do I wanna be? My kids are gonna be 24 and 26 times two. All four will be out of college, we hope. Um, kids could be getting married, engaged. I mean, that blows my mind. 10 years does not seem that far away, but so much is gonna be changing by that time. And I am dreaming of a beach house. My husband's dreaming of a lake house. So we'll see how that turns out for us. And then 15 years from now, where do we wanna be? My kids are gonna be 29 and 31. I wanna be traveling. And hopefully I will be having grandkids running around my home. So lots of things in terms of financial needs in my future. Okay, so step two. Now you have to plan your success rituals. So based on where you see yourself, in that 5, 10, 15 year mark, you can even think about, okay, in beach body world, like if you want to attach a rank to it, you can. If you don't, I would definitely attach an annual income to, to your dreams if you're not going to attach a rank to it. But I think rank can really help you to, to envision where you want to go as well. So step two, you have to plan your success rituals. So you have to think about how you're going to get there. So those goals, those dreams, those things that just seem so far away and not tangible right now, how are you going to get there? You're going to actually take on the role of your future self and you're going to have future self perspective. You're going to make your goals seem more real when you talk from the future. You're going to talk as if you've already done these things, you've already accomplished these things, and you're going to tell your current self from your future self perspective, this is how I did it. You're going to think about how you operate as a human daily in order to show up as that person. My team hears me say it all the time, act as if. Oh, you wanna hit Success Club 20? Act as if you hit Success Club 20 every single month. <clears throat> you want to make $1,000 a week? Act as if you're already making $1,000 a week. So on step two and three, I have them side by side and you'll see why in a second. But I put all the questions in there for you so you don't really have to write any of this down. But I want you to think in terms of what time do you get up in the morning as that successful person hitting those dreams and goals 5, 10, 15 years from now? What does her morning routine look like? What does she eat throughout the day? What is her nighttime routine? What people does she surround herself with? What does her personal development daily look like? What does she believe about herself? How does she talk to herself in her head? What does her daily coach work look like? How does she show up for her clients, customers, challengers, whatever you call them? How does she show up for her team as a leader? And the more detailed you can be, the better. So not like, oh, she's a really good leader. What does she do to show up for her team as a leader? Oops, forgot to use this. Okay, so step three. So you've written down all of these success rituals that this future self uh, does partakes in now you have to and I know this sounds crazy you have to do the how to so how are these success rituals actually going to happen so think about when you were in fourth grade and you had to do that how to presentation on um, how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and so you had to come into school with the peanut butter and the jelly and the bread and the knife and the spoon and the plates and all those things had to be in place 
and you had to show people step by step how to make that peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And then you had to write the paper on how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. As silly as that sounds, you have to do this with your success rituals. So for example, and I told my team this one this past weekend, I get up at 5 a.m. every day except Sunday. Okay, I still have, I have not mastered that because I have not taken the time to break down the actions that have to happen in order for me to rise and shine at 5 a.m. every day. So what does that look like? My how-to for that is I need to start my nighttime routine about around 8.30 p.m. to start to chill out because my brain takes a long time to chill out. So I know 8.30 I've got to start, which I don't do currently. I need to make sure that I'm in bed by about 9 p.m. So again, my brain can start to rest even more. I can start to do more of my nighttime ritual in terms of reading, um, writing what, you know, three wins for the day and starting to go to sleep. I need to set my alarm and not change it every single day based on what time I'm going to bed. And I need to make a, a deal with myself that there is no snooze button. So those four things have to happen just so that I wake up at 5 a.m. every single day. Think about your, your challengers. If you did this with your challengers, I eat nutritious food, and this actually works for this as well for us, but I eat nutritious foods that fuel, not fatigue me, so that my body can function at peak levels every single day. Gosh, what goes into that? We know what goes into that. I'm, you know, I'm going to eat three meals a day and two snacks. I'm going to meal plan and create a grocery list every whatever day, Friday. I'm going to plan ahead when I'm going out with others for what my, my fun, you know, uh, zing foods might be. I shop for groceries every Saturday morning. I prep my food on on Sundays, I plan out meal and snack times because I am personally one who will just keep working and not notice the time, plan meals and actually set an alarm on my phone to remind me to eat. I avoid high sensitivity foods for myself that just don't make me feel good. And I am going to probably put away or get rid of the foods that tend to be those things that kind of steer me off course that I really, they don't do anything for me. They don't make me feel good. I'm not really happy after I eat them and get those out of my house. Think about all those how-to step-by-steps that took me to just say, I'm going to eat nutritious foods to fuel my body every single night. So what you're going to do is you're going to take every success ritual and it does take time. It, it does take time. And I would say, give yourself a whole week to work on this because things are going to come up throughout the week that you're going to be like, oh, I totally forgot about that piece. Um, you know, when your challenger says, I'm going to work out five times a week and you're like, yay, great. What's the first thing that you do with them? Okay. How are we going to make that happen? Like, how is that physically going to happen? You have to figure out what days those five days are going to be. You have to figure out what times you're going to work out every day. I want you to schedule those in your calendar. So they're actually there on paper. So you don't give, you don't get an out. You don't give yourself an out to get out of it. You need to figure out what program you're going to be doing. And if you're going to be doing body, which ones are you going to hit play on? So you're not standing there forever looking around for things to work out to. Have your workout clothes picked out the night before, or even on Sunday, pick them out for the whole week, which is even better. So this is where the hard part comes in. And it sounds magical and great. Yeah, I'm going to do all these things. I'm going to have this great how-to list, and I'm going to put these actions into place every day. But there's this awful thing in the back of our heads called limiting beliefs. And we all have something, right? Nobody's perfect. Nobody doesn't have that little kind of devil in our head every once in a while that tells us something that makes us feel like we can't do something or we're not capable of doing something, right? And so I laid it out like this. When I thought about things, I thought, okay, so limiting beliefs are not true. It's just BS that you're telling yourself. And affirmations, or the, it was actually, sorry, your future visions or goals are not true yet either, right? So they're both not true yet. And you get to decide which one you believe. So you can either pour your energy and your thoughts and your belief system into those limiting beliefs, or you can pour your energy and thoughts and belief system into into that future vision or those future goals that you have, but you truly can't believe both at the same time. 
it's absolutely impossible to believe both at the same time. So you get to choose. And I figure, I told my team this weekend, I think it's more fun to dream and have vision than it is to sit in your own, you know what, and have your limiting beliefs, right? So you get to choose. So what I want you to do in, in this document, if you're following the document, is there's a page with um, a t-shirt where you have to actually write down those limiting beliefs. And I know we don't want to face them. We don't want to have we want to pretend they're not really there, even though they do creep on us every single day. But I want you to think about what's holding you back. And you're just going to jot those beliefs, those limiting beliefs down. Again, they are not true, but jot them all down on the left side of the page. And then I want you to flip the switch. I want you to write affirmations that are the opposite of that limiting belief so that you can start to retrain that brain, make new neural pathways, make new belief systems inside that brain of yours so that you start to help yourself get towards those vision, help yourself get towards those goals and knock those limiting beliefs right out of your system. So step four, you are going to make a daily plan. So you've got your dreams, you have the um, actions as if, acting as if list. You have the actual how-to to get to all of those things on your list so that you can act as if you have already hit all of your dreams and goals. And the last thing you have to do is you've got to make sure you show up and you actually do them. And the easiest way to do that is to wake up every single morning and make sure that part of your morning routine is, 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 making a plan for how you're going to achieve those actions. So first, I know we have long to-do lists, right? If you're like me, you have that to-do list that could be like, you know, 80 plus things on the list. There's no way you're accomplishing even one, one eighth of the list that you have on your to-do list every single day, but you're like, okay, I've got this gigantic to-do list. I'm going to see how many things I can accomplish in one day. And then magically, Somehow I do things that aren't even on the list. I got 80 things on the list and I'm magically doing other things. And then my sweet husband, you would come and I'd be like, oh my God, I didn't do anything on this list today. He goes, but I know you were productive. You were telling me you did this and you did this and you did this. I'm like, yeah, I did. But I feel like I can be the queen of procrastinating. And so, so that big giant list scares me. And so what you can do is first thing in the morning, make that list of 80 things that you have to do or transfer it to the next day or pull it back out again, add to it, whatever you need to do to do that brain dump. Brain dumping is good because it gives you extra space in your head to think about other things. But then I want you to look at that list and I want you to think, okay, what are three things I need to do in my business today that is going to help move my business towards those goals and those that vision, those dreams that I have for my future. It's those needle moving, moving activities. And so, yeah, there's activities we can do. We can spend a bazillion years on making some cute little image. And honestly, when people are scrolling, they are not stopping and saying, gosh, look at that image Angela made. It is gorgeous. They don't care. They don't care. It's not, a, it's, not, it's not an income producing activity. Get the info out there. Do, as we say, do the B minus work and move on and make sure that you pick three activities that are really going to move your business forward that day. And I don't want you to star them on your long to-do list because I've done that trick before and then I end up with 3000 stars on my list and nothing gets accomplished. I want you to physically take either an index card or a post-it note. I know we're not saving trees this way, but it really works. And write your three things for today. I want the date on the top, one, two, three, and put them in order of importance right? You can't do two and three until one is done first. You can't do three until two is done. And put those things on top. And those are your eat the frog activities. Those are the things that, you know, you avoid, but you know, you got to do them because it's going to help you move your business forward. And when you think about it, I love numbers. Over the course of a year, that's over 1,000 income producing, move your business forward activities a year. Over a thousand. Imagine where your business would be one year from now, if you started doing that. And that truly is the compound effect. And if you haven't read that book, get it on Audible, listen to it. I was my, it was my shower book. It's the book I listened to every day in the shower till I was done. Um, but that is the compound effect. So four-step plan, 
Look at me. Best time ever. It's 930. Okay. In conclusion, you've got the four step plan. You can't, you can't accomplish it in 10 minutes. It really does take time to think about things, but I'm telling you, once you have this in place, you feel like a freaking rock star and you are on your way. So here's the three things that you need. You need direction. That's your step one. You need to take the actions. That was step two and step three. And then guys, you've got to give it time. You can't come up with this plan and next week be like, up, oh, still didn't buy my beach house yet. This is not working. You know, think about when your challengers come to you a weekend and they're like, ah, oh, I have not lost the 20 pounds yet. And you're like, you've been doing this for a week. It's the same thing in our business. So take your own advice. The same things you tell your challengers and the same things you tell them about their health um, and their fitness goals, it's, you got to apply it to your business as well. It takes time. And sometimes you're going to hit, you know, you're going to set out and say, I'm going to hit this rank by this date and it's going to magically happen. And yeah, you're going to do blood, sweat and tears to try and make it happen. But just because you don't hit it by that date doesn't mean you can't hit it. You know, it, so maybe it happens a week later. Maybe it happens a month later. Like as long as you put your heart and soul into it, you can't be upset and then take your foot off the gas and walk away. Keep going until it happens. It will happen. And your timeline is not the same as anybody else's. So you cannot face and don't even bother asking other people, how long did it take you to get to X, Y, or Z? Because every single person has a different story to tell and they have a different way of getting there. And so you cannot base that on anybody else or base your success on how anyone else got their success. I will tell you when it comes to action, and you've heard me say this on every training I've done with you, you don't have to believe in yourself to take action. You actually just need to take action. And if you can't do it on your own, I'm telling you this plan in place is going to help you take action. Make sure that you have an accountability partner. Make sure you send this plan to your upline so that they can see it. It was very powerful to, for me to see coaches send me their plans so that I could see it and I could talk them through it and I could question them on things and I could be cheering them on. Because action breeds confidence. Again, I'll relate it to your challengers. Think about that challenger who said, oh, I've never worked out before. This is never going to work for me. I'm never going to lose the weight. And I, I just hate vegetables and blah, 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 right? And one week down, they got their Shakeology and their water. And you are pumped for them. And they feel like a million bucks. And they're like, all right, I can do this. I drank my shake every single day. And I drank all of my water. I'm ready to add vegetables. And then the third, second week, they're adding vegetables and they feel like a rock star. The scale went down two pounds and now they're on top of the world. They get to the third week in the, your challenge group and they're like, I'm ready to push play on my workout. I feel like I'm stronger. I feel like I have more clarity. I feel like I have more energy. I'm ready to go, right? It, it just took actions step by step to give, give them more and more confidence to do the next thing. It's the same thing in your business. And you always hear from all of our upline that, that is on Team VIP that success is inevitable. You have to be consistent though. You can't show up and do a power hour once a week and think that you're going towards your dreams. You've got to show up for your business. You've got to have grit and you've got to stay determined to reach those goals no matter how long it takes. So now it's time for you to live into your dreams. That's it. So good, Angela, and so tangible. Like, I love that you gave us the Google Doc to work through um, and to be able to look at and revert back to because I think it's so good. And I think always coming back to clarity, no matter where you are in the business, I think our vision, you know, can grow and expand. So I love that. It was so good and succinct and like it's done. It's, there's an action plan, which I like love. So thank you so much. Does anybody have any questions for Angela? I already have mine printed off. Okay. I'm ready to go. Thank you. I'm such a paper person. So mm -hmm. thank you. I love this nerdy stuff. Great. Yes. <laughs> Great. All right. Well, if we don't have any questions, um, that's really all that we have for tonight. But reminder that tomorrow, Body officially launches. 
What that means for all of us, I'm assuming most of us already have body and you've been trying out the workouts. Nothing is going to change on our end. We'll still have our membership, but now people can go in and buy a body membership instead of doing the Nutrition Plus. When they buy a total solution package, they'll get 30 days of body free and people can buy one day passes to body to try out as well. So if you have people who are like, yeah, I'd like to try it out and see what it's all about, they can actually buy a one day pass to it. And then if they choose to decide like, oh my God, this was amazing, that one day pass will actually go towards their membership. So if they pay, I think it's $7, correct me if I'm wrong, a one day pass for $7, that $7 will go to the price of that body membership. So super, super exciting. This has the ability to really open up a lot of opportunities for people that may not have tried um, at home workouts. Um, while we are at home, body has a way different feel than pre-recorded workouts, even though most of them that I'm doing on body aren't technically live. It just has a different feel. So I'm super excited for that. I'm seeing what people are posting. Um, but if you have any questions, um, let us know in Team VIP page. We will let you know more as we get a go from there. But thank you so much for being here tonight. And thank you so much, Angela, for leading our call. It was really, really helpful. So thank y'all. All right. Bye, y'all. Have a great evening.